This is an entire display of the brand new Paldean Fates mini tins. Each display comes with 10 tins with four different tin variants for a total of 20 packs of Paldean Fates and hopefully a whole bunch of shiny cards. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the show. Drop a like on this video and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. An entire display of Paldean Fates mini tins. I'm really stoked to get into this. If you guys have been watching my channel for a little bit, you know my two favorite products are mini tins and the three pack blisters and Paldean Fates has both of those. It's got mini tins and it's got three packs. Let's just stack all these up right here. Get this box out of the way. I feel like I'll get at least one decent pull from this and hopefully I've put this uh, short out by now by the time this video comes out I'm sure I have but the Mew EX alternate art from a single damaged Charizard tin I'm really stoked on that one let's set the Mew aside I have a weird feeling that I'm gonna double up on the Mew but let's get into this real quick though honestly guys check this out Pokemon needs to do a little bit better you can just slide this right off it's way easier than uh, trying to peel it open or take a, a box cutter or something to it two packs for each tin and it looks like you just get some stickers now no coins, this is just like some kind of little info card and then this is a sticker. Okay, I mean, I'm kind of piling up on the coins. I don't really know what to do with them at this point, so I'll take some stickers. Always fun to slap those on something. First pack from the mini tins, and like I said, mini tins and three packs are my favorite product, so I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the luck today on the mini tins, uh, but it's looking like just a hollow in this first pack. There's the code for you. Here we go, second pack. Like I said, feeling like you're gonna get at least one uh, secret uh, illustration rare, secret art rare. I still like to just call them alternate arts per box, but oh, do I see something at the back of this? Or is it just, nope, there we go. First shiny of the day, Arbol Arboliva. Arboliva, definitely saying that one wrong. Can we get a double hit? Cause it's technically possible. No, just a hollow mimic you. There's the code for you. And let's drop this shiny into a sleeve. I feel like I've only hit a couple of duplicate shinies so far, which with how many of them there are in this set, over I think 130 of them or something like that, there's, it's, you know, I guess you have better odds of not hitting a duplicate, but it just scares me. Shining Fates was so brutal for me. I opened over 400 packs. I never pulled the shiny Charizard. I was very fortunate enough to be gifted one by my good buddy, Matt, but I really, really want to pull a shiny Zard of my own one day. And this could be the day. Here we go. We've got Iono, camera up. Oh, and we skipped right ahead to a nice shiny Rabska there. We'll set Rabska aside for a second and just the hollow. There's the code for you. But like I said, so far, cool. Not doubling up on the baby shinies. I'm going to open at least one of every product that comes out for Paldean Fates. See where the binder's at around there. Maybe try to trade up some of the duplicates, but... I don't know, I think it would be really fun to try to pull this entire set. It would be crazy. You definitely would spend way more than it would be worth just to buy it, but it's about the fun, right? Ghastly, and we've got the Gardevoir EX. Needed that one in the binder too. Let's get you that code real quick, and we'll drop the Gardevoir into a sleeve. Hopefully I put enough sleeves out today. Every time I just grab a little stack of sleeves and think that's all I'm gonna need, but with Paldean Fates so far, it's like, I've been wrong every time. There's like way, way too many hits in this. So once again, stickers in every one of them. I guess it's cool. I don't know, besides a sticker or a coin, what else would you wanna see in a mini tin? Like, I don't know, do they even need to have the little extra stuff in there? Let's go, we got LeChonk, Execute, Iano again. We've got the Artisan, Rare Candy, Gimmigool, and the Iron Treads EX. So starting to double up on some of the uh, EX is here, but that's okay. I don't think there's too many of them. So I feel like if you're gonna get a lot of double hits, it's gonna be on those uh, EXs and the cards that part of like the main set, and not the shiny part of the set. But here we go, few tins in, just some baby shiny so far. There's gotta be at least one full art in here. Maybe a, a secret, there we go. We got the shiny oink alone. And can we get a double hit again? No, just a, shiny, just a regular hollow mimic you, but Let's take a look at this shiny oink alone. I really like the shinies with the silver border. I still don't know how I feel overall about all the cards having the silver border. I think because I'm just old school with it, I really miss the yellow, but something about the shinies having the silver, I really, really like that. We got six, seven tins left here. Let's keep it going. 
Another sticker. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these stickers. Two more packs. There's got to be something. There's got to be at least one. One secret in here. Are you guys calling them special illustration or secret art rares? Secret illustration rares? Or are you just calling them alt arts? Still, I'm still just calling them alt arts. We got Atticus, Don Fan, the Nest Ball, and there we go. Some Kanto vibes with a shiny slow poke. And let's get you the code. And yeah, just. Just a hollow, bam, there we go. I kind of wish they'd put the shiny in front of that hollow slot so you wouldn't have to awkwardly go through that other reverse. There we go though, nice Kanto shiny slow poke there. I feel like I've pulled kind of a lot of the uh, Kanto shinies so far, which is really cool. I still need the Scyther, the Snorlax, Pikachu, and the Raichu, and I think a few others for sure, the Oddish. But let's keep it going. We've got Gengar, almost the best Pokemon of all time. Don Fan, Clive, and Cruel Edge for the Hollow. But overall, let's see. About, yeah, halfway. Right after this one, be just about halfway through. And a couple baby shinies, but no full art shinies. So far, that uh, damaged Charizard tin that I opened in that short. I think has been like the best product. There was five packs and I got four hits out of it. Here we go. Nay two. We got Paldean Whooper. Let's move all this out of the way. We've got the Mankey, Don Fan, Atticus, Mousehold, Magmar, Fido, and Paldean Student. There we go. Definitely needed that one in the binder. This might be the hit for the, the display here, but I feel like there's still going to be something better. Let's get you the code, bam, and let's drop Paldean Student into a sleeve. Reminds me of all the, uh, the like gym leader cards, the friends in Galar in that one. Very nice, Paldean student. Okay, oh, I keep forgetting that there's two packs. But yeah, overall, I'm gonna have to watch closely because I've already forgotten, but I think at least one hit per mini tin so far, which is pretty decent odds. We got Lantern, and there we go. Shiny Charmander, talk about the Kanto vibes. It doesn't get any better than that. Shiny Charmander, and could there be in this, just a hollow, that's fine, it doesn't matter. Don't need to double it up when you get the shiny Charmander. Not sure if I like this one more than the Hidden Fates shiny Charmander, but bam, let's drop you into a sleeve. Really, I, I might just go out of my way <clears throat> to make sure I get all of the Kanto shinies first, but let's keep it going. Could that Charmander's big, big brother, this shiny Charizard, be hiding in this display still? Let's get these two packs out. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Kind of lame that you can just slide the plastic off, but it does make opening it a little easier. Oh no, I feel like I saw, I feel like I saw just a hollow edge with that. I still don't really like how there's a hollow in every pack, but oh, is it so, oh, okay. Another shiny palmy, starting to double up on the shinies, but that's all right. And just a hollow, there's the code for you. Let's drop shiny palmy into a sleeve. Also, if you're out at Targets and Walmarts and stuff like that this weekend, uh, you should see these mini tins showing up. I didn't see them um, at mine this week, but you should also be seeing the uh, eight pack, eight box, eight box, eight pack collection boxes with the new shiny starters on it. Gonna be opening those up next on the channel. Here we go, the Clive and Ralts, uh, Frigibax, and the Houndstone for the Hollow. Houndstone's pretty cool for a new Pokemon. You guys know me, not usually a super big fan of all the new ones, but every once in a while, they do it right. They get one that I like. Here we go, let's take these two out. Getting down to the last three tins after this. Oh, look at that, same pack art. I don't know if that's happened yet. Double pack art. Like I said, I'm still hoping for some kind of secret rare in here. Maybe even just a, a shiny Pikachu would be cool. One more Kanto shiny. We've got the Gengar, Technical Machine, and the Artabax. Let me get these tin tops out of the way. Artabax for the baby shiny, and just the Zaytu hollow for the rare. There's the code for you. Let's drop the Artabax into the sleeve, if I can. Bam, yes, I can. Filling up this binder with, oh, with shinies. There we go, all right, let's get back into it. Got the desk all cleared off. I feel like this desk is huge, but then I start ripping everything and it just piles up and piles up. Here we go, Pineco. We got Numel, Natu, Paldane Student. Hey, we just hit the full art of that. Clive, we got Whimsicott, Lechonk, Ralts, and the Goldengo for the hollow. I don't know, that's a weird Pokemon to me. Three tins left. 
six packs left. That that uh, shiny Charmander though, honestly for me, makes it worth it. Hit some other Kanto shinies too. Like I said, it it feels possible. I don't know. I'm gonna open everything that comes out. If I start hitting just like too many more duplicates, I don't know, but it actually feels possible to pull all of this. We've got the Woobat, Scraggy, uh, I'm not even gonna try, Nest Ball, we've got Lantern, and there we go, right as I'm talking about hitting all the Cantos, we got the shiny Wigglytuff, let's get you the code, bam, and no double hit there. I'm pretty sure you can double hit in Paldean Fates, I think it's happened already on the channel. Here we go, shiny Wigglytuff, filling up the shiny binder. And after this one, we still got four packs left here. I gotta pull something than just a baby shiny. Something better, at least a full art. Just not another full art Gardevoir. I don't know why, it feels like all I'm pulling are shiny Gardevoirs. We've got Varum, Iono, and the Cyclozar Hollow code for you. Last two tins here. I don't know, maybe I grabbed a, a bad display, but I still love these mini tins, and I'm really liking this set. So far, all of the Scarlet and Violet sets have been fun, but sort of hit or miss in some areas. But so far, Paldean Fates, oh yeah, I'm liking this. Here we go, we got the Mankey, we got Magmar, Nimona, Charmander, we got Primeape, Whimsicott, Scrafty, Gimmigool, Noibat, and Executor. All right, it's okay. It's okay, got another pack here. Let's see though, I feel like we did hit at least one mini tin that was fully, fully empty. I always feel like I'm gonna bend the cards. Whoa, these packs have like this, that weird plastic on them. They feel so different than Sword and Shield did. We got the Tandemoss, Mankey, Flittle, Primeape. Is something peeking out of the back here? Okay, I think we got another shiny. Oh, maybe not, Maractus. Oh, Ultra Ball? Who's it gonna be? Uh, another full art judge. Okay, doubling up on the uh, full art supporters there, but that's okay. There's not too many of them. I think I'm still missing a couple. Maybe I can trade this judge for one of those. Bam, but so far, this case has been really awesome. And after this tin, do a nice little recap here. Last two packs though, hopefully some last pack magic. I just wanna see another alternate art. I can't believe I hit the Mew from the messed up Charizard tin. Just something in my gut said, buy it. Buy it. Okay, here we go. Gemigul, we got Lechonk, Execute, Charcadet, Scrafty, Swoobat, if I can grab the cards, Gengar, ah, Primate, ah, Execute, and another Gardevoir. See what I'm saying? I just keep pulling all the versions of Gardevoir. I don't know why. I need to like, I don't know what I need to do. I need to get decursed from Gardevoir. Last pack magic here from the mini tin display. Like I said, having a blast with this set, set so far. Huge shout out to you guys for making it all the way to the end of this video. Gonna be opening those starter collections in the next vid on the channel. And I think I see a shiny in here. I think I see a shiny border. We got Scrafty. I'm happy that this is gonna end on hopefully a shiny. I guess it could be, oh, ah. Uh, it's just a baby shiny Varum. Okay, that's all right. Needed it in the binder. Can we double it up? No. Bam. Here's the code for you. Let's drop Varum into a sleeve here and let's do a nice little recap. This display tin actually was really good. Check it out. We got two Gardevoirs. We got the Iron Treads, Rabska Shiny, Slowpoke Shiny, Oink Alone Shiny, Varum Shiny, Wigglytuff Shiny, Arctabax Shiny, another Palmy, the Charmander Shiny, very nice, the Full Art Judge, and the Full Art Paldean Student. But I'm hoping that those premium collections are a little bit better. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub, I post new ones every week. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here.